Hi, this is the demo of the WhatsApp clone SUP by AppScript.com. I start by launching the app. The app confirms whether it allows you know whether you can get notifications or not. So I say okay. We have an option to choose different countries. The country code is chosen is chosen based on the country I've selected above. I add my phone number. So go in here, add my number. I wait for the verification code. We have used Twilio to confirm numbers by SMS. You can see the SMS right on top. The registration code is 1957. So I'll go back to my app and put that in. 1957. That's confirmed. I've Since I've already signed up, it shows my registered name and my photo which I had chosen last. We have options to import the photo from the library. We have an option to take a fresh photo from the camera and we have an option to import photos from Facebook. So I continue logging into the app. The first action the app takes is it finds my friends who from my contacts who are already using the app. So this takes a couple of seconds to locate the users on the app. I can see I have about five, six users who are already using the app. The second page is the call logs page, just like what you have in WhatsApp, where you can see all the different calls that one has received, or the one, the ones, uh, some, or the, the missed calls, or the calls which someone has made. The third tab is the contacts tab. You can see all the users who are on the app and the guys who are not on the app from the in your contacts so i can look for users here there should be one who i can find who's using the app oh. <laughs> can't find anyone here but they're all here so then we have different options in our settings one is to set the profile and the other one is to set the status message so just like on whatsapp i can go and change it or i can write another one Hey, this is for the demo. I save that, so that's my current status, which is then visible to everybody. I go in here, I can initiate a chat with anybody, so I get in here. This is the other user who's online. I can send them a text message. The options you have here are, you know, you for every message we have three ticks. One tick, in, one tick signifies that the message has reached the server. The second tick signifies that the message has reached the receiver and the third tick signifies that the receiver has read the message. So now I see that the user has responded to the message. If the user goes offline, I would notice that the status on top changes to offline and then it shows the last time it was online, you know, last time it was online. When the user comes back online, I see him as online and if he starts typing a message, a long one, I would see the typing indication right on top, on, on top of the navigation bar. So you can see the typing indicator on top. And once he finishes typing, he sends me that message. So I'll just wait for him to complete. Nope. There he goes. And then we have the, the other options we have on the app are sharing photos, videos, getting photos from the library, uh, sharing the location and sharing contact. So I can choose a photo of the demo. So let's do that. Use that photo, share that. So double tick says that someone has already seen it. So third, three, third tick says someone has seen it. I have other options such as share location. The app requests for permission, I allow that. And I can send my current location to the user. So that is done, so that's share location. We have an option to share contacts. So I can look for a contact who I want to share. And I share that with the user. So that is done. And we can also record a video. So let's see if I can pick up a video from my gallery. So there you go. Pick this video and I share this. So that's shared. I can go back and see my, I can also receive images and videos in real time. 
So that's the next thing which I will show. I will wait for the receiver to send me a video or a, or a image. So there we go. I can see the image. I can also see the receiver's image right here by clicking on the image on the top right. I can get into the details and see all the media content I've shared with this user. I see all of it here. The coolest option we have on the app are the calling options because we have both an audio and video call inside our chat. So let me start by showing you the audio call. So let me initiate an audio call for the same user. So we are using WebRTC for the entire call protocol. It's completely open source. You don't have to pay any license fee. So here we have other options. I can open up the speaker. And if someone yeah, says something, say I can something. hear that. Hi, how's it going? So that, that's from the call on the app. So I can. And then I can also wait for a video call to be initiated by the receiver. So let's see if we can demo the video. So as I see here, you can see that there's an incoming video call. And there's an option to pick up the call and cancel the call. So I call. And I wait for the video to start. So I can see the, the person on the other side waving his hand, making some funny faces. So that, that is the video call feature we have on the app. Completely free based on WebRTC. Now let's go back and see if we can get the push notifications on the app. So I'll wait for the sender to send me some messages so we can demo the push notifications. There we go, right on top, I can see a notification. We can also get notifications for calls. So I'll wait for the sender to receive a call. So I get the audio and the notification on top. So if I click on that, I can see the call screen come up, which I will just cancel. Now, if I go back on the app and see my recent tab, I will see all the calls that you know that that were made or received on the on the app so the last call was an audio call which was received the call before that was a video call which you can as you see there and if there's any missed call it would show up in the missed call section so this completes the demo of the main features of the app the other thing i can also show is the status of the user changing in real time so i'll wait for the other user to change the status and we'll see that the status changes in real time so I'll wait for that too. So the other user is just about to change the status and it would update in real time. See, there we go. The first user, the status has changed to battery about to die. And to show it again, I'll change the status again so you guys don't miss it. So now it's changed to can't talk, sub only. I can change it again to I'm stylish. So that's how the status changes in real time. The app is completely real time based on com open source technology. So you know that you can host the entire backend on your own servers. The app is completely customizable and we can always add more features. The other features which are available on the product can be seen on our add-ons page on appscript.com. This completes a demo of the WhatsApp clone by AppScript. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any further queries, please feel free to drop a message on appscript.com. Thank you guys. Bye.